the SanDisk Extreme Pro 64GB memory card is the best thing for on-the-go 4K shooting. Affiliate link below. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater, and James Bond is coming back. We know it's coming back. It's already been confirmed it's coming back. 2019, it's going to be here, and I am excited. I want more James Bond, even if this is Daniel Craig's last movie. I'm excited. Although, I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I've said this before, and I will say this again. I think with the ending of Spectre, it was a good time for, for Craig to step down. But at the same time, a lot of people didn't view Spectre as being up to par with uh, the kind of legacy that his Bond had left. So they probably are going to want to uh, try and, you know, make it, uh, make it, make it something that's going to live up to the legacy of Casino Royale. You know, and I get that. I do get that. And I'm okay with that, too. But it says here that Bond 25 title and villain details reportedly revealed. Now, this is a rumor and no way has this been confirmed, but it sounds cool as shit. Uh, saying here that with Daniel Craig's return as James Bond seemingly confirmed, fresh rumors are surfacing about what to expect from the next installment of the British film series. According to The Mirror, Bond will be journeying to Croatia for a film based on the 2001 novel Never Dream of Dying by Raymond Benson, the author of Tomorrow Never Dies, uh, The World is Not Enough, and Die Another Day. So the, the stories that the last three Pierce Brosnan Bond films were, were based on and those were more akin with let's say the roger moore side of bond than maybe the sean connery side of bond but J but daniel craig's bond kind of brought it home made it gritty made it realistic and then of course with you know you could say quantum of solace they really tried to kind of capitalize on the james uh on the jason Bourne success uh and, and more of kind of a raw gritty take on the character which i don't know about you but i personally enjoyed like i said if you watch casino royale and quantum them back to back it's like four hours of epic awesomeness now the source did say that bond scriptwriters feel it could be the perfect follow-up to specter and they're hoping to film in croatia next year which would be cool because you know they're probably going to try to cut the budget down at this point um eon productions is kind of on their own they don't have a distributor in place yet sony's not going to be distributing this bond film maybe maybe they will but the but the contract is over and they're kind of a free agent uh going on to say that other exotic locales uh in the film are expected to traverse including japan and the south of france and uh the setting of or in the south of france will be the novel's opening scene uh the outlet claims that the film's working title is shatterhand and we will see 007 come up against a blind villain. That's interesting. That could be pretty cool if done correctly. Uh, Never Dream of Dying sees Bond start a relationship with Tylen Mignon, a film star whose husband is connected to the Union, a reoccurring crime organization within the 007 novels. And the thing with this, though, like I said, this is not much going on here in terms of information, but... but Okay, so we know that there's always been Spectre and there's always been Blofeld and everything else. And at the end of Spectre, he kind of stopped the organization, captured Blofeld and brought it all kind of, you know, down. Right. And it had been an organization that they'd been teasing for four films, even though we never really got to see Spectre in full motion, in my opinion. It is kind of cool to have that particular storyline wrapped up. Now, there's no word whether or not Christoph Waltz is going to come back or anything like this, or if Jeffrey Wright's going to show back up as Felix Leiter. There's been talks about whether or not you know they're going to do a james bond expanded universe like by, by giving felix Leiter his own movie now listen i'm not 100 percent against that jeffrey wright is a badass and i'd love to see him take that character and and run with it you know as more than just a supporting role i think that'd be really fucking cool and i'd be down to watch that but in the meantime what they need to do in order to make this film a success is look at what made casino royale and and skyfall good it was more minimalistic they both felt way more minimalistic i mean there are parts of skyfall obviously that were bigger but ultimately at its core it felt more contained whereas quantum of solace was more of a globe trotting adventure uh and 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 specter had a lot of big set pieces and a lot of exotic locations again kind of they kind of hop and skip and everything else i mean look at the opening scene of specter jesus christ right the day of the dead sea in mexico holy crap that was insane so the point i'm trying to get to here is that if they start you know if they if they can find a way to work within a, a reasonable budget and and have a good story and a good script and and we don't know if sam mendez is going to come back to direct it i i i don't know if he will and i don't know if he should uh, this might be time to look into getting a director. Uh, honestly, bring back Martin Campbell. Please, just bring back Martin Campbell. As far as I know, he's not doing anything right now. Bring back Martin Campbell. Let him, let him, let him direct the last James Bond movie. Uh, you know, because 
This one is based off of, you know, the couple other, <laughs> the couple other uh, James Bond, Pierce Brosnan movies that Martin Campbell didn't direct. And they were really over the top and really crazy. But have him bring it. He'll, he'll ground it in reality. He'll tell the cool story. He'll give us maybe the proper send off to Bond that we need. And also an utterly kick-ass amazing film. But what do you guys think about this? Do you think that this sounds like a cool premise? Does this sound like a cool idea? Is like the, the plot details to be believed? Or is it just a rumor that should be dismissed? These are things I want to know. Go ahead and let me know in the comments. My name is, of course, Matt Jarbo. This has been 3 Buck Theater. I'll talk to you guys later. Have yourself a great day. Peace out.